Howdy folks, Synthetic Mason here. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a Lita 1. Um, so for starters, eh? yeah. So these are the parts you're going to need. Now you'll notice I have a different color here. Um, I didn't want to pull apart a Lita 1, so I just got the parts so I can make another one. So yeah, uh, now I'm going to have a fourth lady motorcycle. I'm going to have to figure out a name for it. Any suggestions after we get done, by all means, let me know, folks. Um, so these are the parts you're going to need um, to make a Lita 1. Now you'll notice some game changers here, okay? See this little guy here? Darn it. Look at this. What is that? It's like a, a little stud pip piece with a bar. Oh man. And what is this? It's like a rounded edged bracket stud one by. Holy crud. Um, I love these pieces. These are amazing. Uh, you should do yourself a favor while they're still on the shelves. This little guy here, um, I, I picked it up at the local Target, uh, Target and uh, it comes with three of these little guys and one of these little guys. Now if you have that, uh, you can also get this piece with that new little poly bag that has like the beige puppy bulldoggy thing with the fire hydrant. That's in there too. Um, I'm a nut for poly bags. Um, I have a ton. There's like some poly bags over here, like little bags and stuff I'm working on. Uh, but yeah, poly bags are a great source of cheap parts. Um, lately, Lego has been like totally rocking the Casbah when it comes to the little poly bags having like parts that are amazing that I need. Um, a couple amazing poly bags as well. Like I have all the Ninja Go. Ninjago um, poly bags, and these guys are amazing. Good pieces in all of them. Um, I bought like eight of this guy because I have a plan for those little treads. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna derail everything for a second. I'm sorry. So there's this guy, right? Poly bag as it is. So now I lopped off the top and just kept the treads in the mouth. That the treads are on. And I made this guy. Look at that. Yeah. Like a little classic space rover thing. I'm, I'm, I'm ruining the whole video. Look at me go. Okay. I've digressed enough. Uh, so here's all the parts. Hopefully by now you've seen what it is that you need so that you can make your very own Alita 1. Uh, so let's start putting this together. Um, I also have like a spare... Uh, lady bike mount. Um, I just use one of these little one by headlight brackets, a one by square stud, and the super awesome. Uh, I call it an inkwell. I've heard other people call it an inkwell. Uh, it's a eh, tiny brick with a tiny little bracket on the top. It's great. Um, there's a billion other ways you can make this little kickstand. That's just how I happen to have made a little kickstand for my motorcycle. All right. So, Alita 1 here. We're going to start by putting these little bitty pins inside the tires. And that way, now the tire has a little stud that we can build off of. Eh? So now we are going to take that super awesome fancy new bracket piece, put it on the back tire. And now we're going to get this side clip piece here. And... What the heck, we're going to use a black one here. Um, some folks have called this a Travix brick, which makes my day, because it's my favorite Lego ever. And my name is Travis. Um, still Synthetic Mason, but you know what I mean. Uh, so uh, you're going to take this piece here, and you'll plug it in upside down, like so. You'll take another one, and you'll place it here with the open slot facing forward and then we'll hold that one for later so we have this right now 
Um, I'm going to take a cheese wedge and put it right here. And then we're going to take one of these little arches, put it right here. And that's going to be like the underside of the motorcycle once we get it rolling. So we've got this so far. Now, we're going to take the one by vertical clip and put that right there. And this little gas pump gun piece um, will clip it into that spot there. Now, in case you can't tell, this is my first tutorial video. It's going to be weird. I'm sorry. Um, but hey, you're going to be able to build an Alito 1 afterwards. So woo. Okay, so we got this far. We're going to then take another one of these little 1x2 rolled slants and put it on the side there. And build this head. Take a light. And this little 1x uh, that's flat with no stud on top. We'll put those together, place them on top there. You can see it taking shape. Set that to the side for just a mojito. Uh, we're going to take that last Travis brick, and on the very front, we're going to go one, a two, oops, skip a step. Take one of this guy here and put it there. Am I doing this right? Nope. So looking at the bottom with the hole open, you're going to take this piece and put it here. And then you're going to put a one by one on top of that. On the back here, we're going to take a slant, slant cheese wedge, drop it in. Another cheese wedge on the front. And then now we have two studs remaining. I'm going to goof on the colors. Deal with it. Darn it. Now, obviously, you can build this in any color you choose. Um, I encourage originality. So we're going to put uh, a 1x1 one one underneath this 1x1 one one rolled slant, or 2x1. Same on the other side. Take those. Place them in here. So now we have the front end taking shape. Handlebars in. I'm going to take the Exoforce robot hand clip, plug it in the back, leave a little bit of space because that's the arm, remember. Now we got this piece back here that is going to be, or the 1x2 bracket piece, and that's going to be what becomes the right arm. Put on the exhaust, which is a pair of binoculars, the last 1x2 slant rolled piece, and there's the top. So now we're going to do the other arm. So we have this 1x1 horizontal side clip. Um, like everybody else, I have like a billion names for these things, and I have my own language for the Legos that like me and my friends speak used when I was growing up, which I continue to use, so they don't all make sense. Bear with me. Um, so we're going to take this fancy awesome new piece here, clip it on to the back, take the minifigure hand and clip it in here. Um, if you don't want to use a minifigure hand because I know that's kind of like an illegal move, uh, some people would say. Um, you can use one of these little Exoforce droid hands, it's just going to be bulkier and in motorcycle more, mode n more noticeable. So the minifigure hand is a great substitute. Um, for the longest time, I was a diehard, don't use the minifigure parts outside of minifigure because it's like cannibalism, but it's fine. Um, bricks are bricks. Um, eventually, I'll show you guys a build for Inhumanoids, which further dating myself is a uh, super awesome 1985 cartoon I'll get into it another time but anyways I use minifigure legs with the minifigure hands jammed in a little hip hole when you remove the leg from the pelvis piece and I use that as their upper arms which are really great it makes these like super cool little hard suits anyways 
we're going to take the tire and then put it on the back of that new fancy piece. There we go. And now we're going to put these together. So we've got the clip, which goes on the weird gas pump hand bracket. And then we have the motorcycle fuel silage and uh, seat arm exhaust that goes over there. And now, check that out. I've got a little purple Alita one and a little green Alita one. And just like the other one, uh, transforms the same. Um, got to gap that a little. Uh, you'll put the front tire flat against the head. Roll back the little arm here. Fold that in. Uh, bring up the arm. Rotate the fuel silage. Bring that back. Pull back the handlebars. Bam! Look at that, folks. Now you, too, can have your very own Alita 1 transformer type thing. Um, please, please, if you post these... Um, tag me in it so I can see them. Um, by all means, if I put a tutorial out there, it is for anybody and everybody to build. Um, I'm not a fan when people say, this is mine, and it's obviously not. Like, for instance, I have builds that you won't see because they're for me, but I have made other people's builds. Um, like, there was a transformer on the shelf that I pointed out in, a, in like the first episode um, that is a different guy's build. Um... Oh, I'm blanking on his name again. Um, I'll track him down, get his information, and point it out. But I'm not going to show the build because even though I've altered it, it's not mine. I did not do that. Um, it's kind of like when I eventually get to my Optimus Prime video. Uh, though I desperately wish it was my idea, the shoulder joints on there... Uh, I want to say Joshua Cooper... Um, genius shoulder joints it's like a swivel roll out that just makes it so amazing uh but anyways um yeah if it's not mine i'll let you know by all means i'm not here to take credit from somebody's awesome idea i mean the whole point of me wanting to do these videos is because i've been inspired by so many people to build my mocks and weird things and yeah, you know, I, I don't. I don't have a big ego when it comes to Legos. Um, I have a big ego. I'm, I'm really awesome and famous. People just haven't caught on to that. Anyways, um, when it comes to Legos, I can think of a hundred people that are better builders than me. So, I'm not looking to be number one or even number one hundred and thirty-eight. Um, I have just been inspired by people, and therein I wish to give back and inspire others. And please, 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 if I do a thing and you're like, wow, that's great, I can do it better. Do it. Build better. I want everybody to build better. I want to be better and therein aid others and learn from them um, because they're like, uh, there are guys out there building here on YouTube as well as I'm sure throughout the world um, that are half my age and I would say on par with my skill and then better. Uh, and if I could have been that good at their age, I can only imagine where I would be now, and they're in the whole cycle. Craziness. Building. Yeah. So, I'm going to do this video. Um, shortly after, I'm going to do another one. Um, I may not get through all the things that I said I was going to do yesterday. I'm a little short on time today. I actually have not slept since work. Uh, I went in to work 6 p.m. yesterday, got off 6 this morning, and I'm still awake so that I could shoot a video for everybody. I'm not mad about it. Um, it's not the first time. I do this periodically. Anyways, sleep. <laughs> All right, folks, so Alita 1 tutorial video. Check that out. Um, yeah, you now have your very own Alita 1. Um keep building folks uh once again if you build alita one by all means tag me because i'd love to see your spin on it um you know i came up with a cool idea i know at least 10 people out there are going to make it cooler so if you get a chance let me see um as well as with any of my videos um i love creative criticism if 
you see something where it's like, oh, you know, you use that one part there to do this, but had you used this piece, I think it would work better. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Please. I want to be better. Uh, I want to help others be better. Um, Lego is an amazing thing. Uh, together, we're going to build stuff, and it's going to be cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> a little gushy, a little weird. I don't know what happened there. Uh, so, yeah. Till the next video, uh, which I'm probably going to shoot after this. Um, I may take a fiver. I'm sorry. I'm going to take a little break. And then I'm going to come back, make another one. And I'll put that out there. It might be a little guy named Daniel here that I'm going to make video of. Anyways, okay, so, Alita One, here's the video. Woo! Oh, yay! Okay, bye, folks.